Hey guys, um, Buzzkill here. Um, it's pretty late. As you can see, it's 4.30 in the morning. Just bored. I um, want to show you guys a pretty cool mod um, for Skyrim. It's sharpshooter, uh, like high graphics, um, sharpshooter extreme graphics vision. Um, it's pretty popular. I don't. I didn't find any tutorials on YouTube on this. Um, it's pretty simple. Just you know, just bored. Um, what you want to do is go to this link, which will be in the description. Um, as you can see here, um, you want to download it manually. So just pick a. I'll just pick this server, download it. Um, that will download. There it is. All right, and then what you're going to do now is you're going to find your Skyrim directory. Um, you can just, I have a torrented version, but you'll just want to, you can just right click that and just open file location. Pretty simple. This would be your Skyrim directory. You're going to want to extract everything from what you downloaded from that mod into this folder right here. Make sure you don't go into data and copy it in here. Um, all right, just make sure you copy it into here. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So what you literally just want to do is just copy all that and put it in here. I already did this. So what you're going to want to do, you just move everything right into here. I'll cancel this. All right, now you have all this copied into here. So now what you want to do is, as you can see, it comes with a readme. Um, it will say, go into your Skyrim pref, I-N-I. Uh, it's in my documents. Uh, I think that's kind of misleading. I don't know if it's because I have a torrented version, but what I just do is you can just go uh, type in your search Skyrim prefs. And um, once you come up to here, um, I'm not going to take the time in this tutorial to look for it. It's, um, you have to change this to equal one. I think like one's right, right, one's right, right here. So like make that one. I already, mine's already one. It says it, what it says zero for you. And then there's one right there. And then that last one's somewhere down here. All right. Once you did that, you you know you save that. And then X that out. X that out. And now you should be ready to do it. Um, let's see what it looks like whenever I open my Skyrim so I can just show you. It will say um, it's acknowledged that you have made changes. Um, let's make sure, let's see. As you can see, I have everything on as high as I can. Hold on, let me, yeah. Everything's high, 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 high. Okay, all right, and then we'll start it up. All right, as you can see, we're starting it up. Everything's looking normal. You have this in B series 0 0.102 shit up here. All right, that's fine. That's normal. I'll just continue from this save that I have. Um, this guy looks different than he usually would. All right, and this is the new world of Skyrim. So you can see um, my fraps is telling me that I am getting 30 frames per second. It's going there all the way up from like 45. I have a GTX 580. I mean, it still runs fine. I mean, I can do this all day long, but um, here I'll take a, tri a quick tour to Riverwood. I think Riverwood looks pretty nice. Um, as you can see again, this 3D model looks different looks more vibrant yeah I really like what Riverwood looks like look at the stone just the way it reflects light um oh my gosh not this guy fuck you All right, anyways um yeah the water looks ridiculously good it looks very very realistic um I'm not sure how um the creator made this forgot his name I think he I don't know it looks very wonderful I wish Bethesda would actually take the time to um, create a game engine based off these graphics I mean just looks amazing um, I'm not really sure what the limitations are for some people with um, certain 
graphics cards on their computers. Um, I've heard that if you can run this game on medium graphics, at least you can run this mod fine. Um, only a few frames per second has suffered um, from doing this mod, but you know, every frame per second that's taken away is definitely worth it. I mean, it just makes this game so much more enjoyable to play. I mean, literally everything. I mean, I think there's a couple more things you can do. You can do like a neon green uh, grass thing. You can also do like something that can help you see underwater better than that. I think there's like you can see better. Like yeah, it's just like a patchy download. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy this mod that I provided. I didn't provide the mod. Thank you. Thank the creator. Forgot his name, but. This is just how you do it for some of you people that are new. Um, but yeah, uh, subscribe to me. That'd be great. Um, yeah, tell me how you guys like it. Thank you.